Good afternoon and welcome to my Friday ramblings. This has been a, uh, an interesting week. Um, like so many weeks, there are demands made on time for pastoral care and pastoral working with people. Um, sadly, this week I had two funerals and um, even sadder was that they were both on the one afternoon. So it becomes a bit challenging. How do you walk with people and work with people when you know you need to rush off to something else? And so I'll need to be following up the families of um, both of the deceased um, in the next few days. This afternoon I've been to visit a, a friend and uh, spent some time chatting about some life changes that uh, are, they're undergoing at the moment. Tomorrow is the 20th of August, so the 20th of August is my anniversary of ordination day, so tomorrow I will celebrate 47 years as a priest. So it's um, gradually, the time is racing on and, um, and it's a sense of um, quite joy as I move forward, but it's still a reality that I'm not quite as young as I used to be and some of the challenges that I'll uh, be facing in the future will be a little bit more um, difficult to meet. Hopefully tomorrow morning I'll be able to get to visit uh, one of my friends who's uh, just moved to Hobart, uh, one of the priests, uh, Father Phil McCormick, or Smiley as he's known to most people, uh, moved to Hobart just on Thursday, so I hope to catch up with him tomorrow morning. Before joining uh, some of my brother clergy uh, at a, a monthly uh, lunch for the priests and then Tomorrow night, Saturday night, and then Sunday, there'll be um, some minor functions in the parish, not major events, but just opportunities for the community to come together. So it's looking forward to being a good weekend. The weather forecast a few days ago was fairly uh, dramatic. Um, it's eased up quite a bit. And um, just uh, another little side on the, on the thing is that um, this weekend, the uh, final round of our footy um, AFL football uh, goes um, around and so it's uh, one of those weekends where there could be quite a number of changes in the uh, order of teams as they finish. The only good thing is that um, Geelong uh, cannot lose their top spot so that's a great start but um, as we know premierships aren't won in August they're won in September so being on top of the ladder now doesn't necessarily mean um, that's the be all and end all of uh, the story so we still have to um, get through the final so that becomes a little bit hair raising for me because I don't like watching the team being put under a lot of pressure. However I hope you have a great weekend I hope that whatever you do this weekend will allow you the opportunity to recreate and uh, be refreshed and uh, look forward to catching up with you next time whenever you join me my ramblings.